It reminds me of a gentleman who had one daughter. And his one daughter he had, one day the girl turned 18 years old. And so she went by his house to pick up her, her check as usual because she wasn't living with him. And he was so happy that today was her birthday. He said to her, Punsi, let me tell you something. Today you're 18. Take this check and give your mama and tell your mama, say, me say, at the last maintenance check and do a comeback. And so she took the check and she was very unhappy. And she, she went to her mother and she said, Mommy, Daddy say, this is the last maintenance check. I am 18 years old and I don't have no more to get. And he said, I must look at your face and come back and tell him how you look. She take the check and she go cash it and said, Hey, Punsi, go back and tell your papa. Say, me say, if you tell him, say, him and your father and come back and tell me how you look. And so, you know, we have persons who, regardless if they are your father or mother or you are the children, they will set out so you can have a good education. Put your hands together again, man. Come on, it's concert time. Hey, let's... Yeah, man. You know, I went to a supermarket the other day and I was picking up a few things to, to make dinner. And a lady said to me, you don't have to buy anything to make soup. There's soup outside. And so I stepped outside the supermarket. I saw a nice um, lady outside selling soup, you know. And I said to her, what you have in that? She said, oh, nice pumpkin and, and stuff like that and everything, Sister Rob, you know. And so I said, um, sell me a bowl. I said, any meat in it? She said, no, 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 no meat, not in my soup. So I said, good. And as soon as she gave it to me, I just used a fork. And I just went like, I saw something look like my little finger. I said, so what this? She said, no, man, the meat boil out. I, I just a couple of um, weeks ago, I, I went to a funeral in Montego Bay. Too bad for me, I never knew the person who was dead. But uh, my very good friend who told me I knew the person, I went anyway. And so while I was there, and I couldn't but notice a lady in the front. She was crying. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> and the man was bawling. But man, I tell you, but she was bawling. I never saw any tears. And she bawled, and she bawled, and she bawled. But guess what happened? The, 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 the coffin was closed. And then when the funeral was finished and they were taking the body out, I noticed she came down the front and she thought somebody said, tell me something, is who dead? Come on, put those hands together, ladies and gentlemen. This is concert time, right? <laughs> I want to tell you about a special gentleman who was recognized a couple of years ago because of something special he did. They, they were honoring persons who were called porters for selling a number of books. And this man, he happened to have sold about 500 books in one month. And the best thing is, he not only sold books, he sold the Bible. And so the, the conference, they were having a very special program to honor him. And so when they brought him on stage, they said, tell us exactly how you sell all these Bibles. They said, me not tell no body. So they, I mean, the pastor said, no, tell us how you sell them. He said, all right, me go tell you. You see, in the mama, mama, morning, me pack up the bubble, book them. In a me, 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 me car and me drive good on a a a a a a tree. You see, when me park a York pharmacy right there, side of the port more bob up, bob up, bus stop. Me just come out with one of the Bible and me look from the crowd up pass. And me say, Tell me something. You know why me, 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 me read a Bible for no. And because them not want me read it, them buy it. Perkins, hey. Man, I was listening to Perkins online um, one day, you know. And I heard a man call and say, hey, Mr. Perkins, yeah, you idiot, you know. Mr. Perkins said, oh, no. I beg your pardon. Why would you say something like that? He said, Mr. Perkins, yeah, you idiot. Because imagine, look how much time you spend on the radio. And you not tell the youth and youth them, how oh, they worship and how oh, they read them Bible. Mr. Perkins said, I don't know nothing about Bible, sir. He said, all right, Mr. Perkins. You know what? What more you tell them? When you read the Bible, and more you tell them about Moses and the burning bush. The burning bush. Oh, 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 oh. 
And say, I don't know nothing about the burning bush. And say, hey, Mr. Perkins, I want to tell you before you come off of the radio. You know what kind of bush Moses did have round the one it had burned? Mr. Perkins said, I don't know, sir. You tell me. And say, that's an high grade. So Mr. Perkins said, tell me something. Oh, you know, sir, high grade. And say, yo, you think sir, God have any time for burning no you idiot bush? <laughs> Uh, a concert will come for your seat, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Key man, lock the door, and gone. <laughs> I want to lose her. Hey. Mm. But then she's a bad job. Mm -hmm. Hey, me, about a woman, you see? She did have a bad life in Jamaica. And the poor thing left and got America. And then she write to her mama and she said, Dear mama, I am writing you this letter very slow because I know you can't read fast. <laughs> mama, the little money where you ask me for, I can't send it this month because I just get a job. And the job would then give me is to check here some picnic. What the teacher were missing, man? My dentist do a bad job. I go and sue him. It hurt me. Anybody have any cafe in all? The teacher hurt me. I can't even read. Anybody want to borrow? See it here. You can have it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, if you watch Bless TV, say yeah. yeah. If you don't send it. Yeah. I hope nobody don't send it inside here. Because you must watch Bless TV. Bless Television is the only television station that brings 100% gospel. Kill the rest of them. Hey, let me tell you something. May I come from... I tell, next thing we're going to tell you, and the police we, we, we run me down, even out the door. <laughs> hey, man, we are come from a country the other day, man. And a policeman, I don't know, I was driving my little car. And I slide it on the highway, and the man, and the man, like him step out of the road and see me and him put up him. Man. But somebody just turned on my radar and I go like, I don't see him. <laughs> and, 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 and like, I see him go so. I'm a pass close to him still, you know. And all of a sudden, my drive up, man. Me want to see a light, I go so. And I said, Lord, I wonder, I wonder what this for now. <laughs> and so by the time I reach Mandela Highway, it's a car, man, he's sitting behind me. Wah, 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 wah. And what he want, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> by the time I reach, I look up, come up to the police station. I, I see him coming. So I just pull up, up on the left side. So me with my smart said, now wind down my glass. I'm going to say, come around. <laughs> so, hey, and by the time, you know, by the time me stop now, me, me see the light I come now, and me stop. And I said, man, come beside me, man. Hello? I said, yes, sir. I said, guess what, man? I just come out of the way because I don't look like I'm an emergency. <laughs> man says, you I want. It's you. Didn't you see I was stopping you? I said, no. I never see you. Me only see the car. And so, you know, he said, come on. Let see your documents. And so, you know, Step out and give him the papers and thing, you know. I said, this man nearly kill me, you know. So the next policeman said, no, man. Me know him. He wouldn't do that, man. He wouldn't kill you. But let me tell you something. 
police not only get ticket, then can sing. And tonight, we just want to celebrate and we want to say maximum respect to the police officers in this country.